Well, today is the last day for New York City public school students to get their first COVID-19 shot in order to be fully vaccinated for the first day of school in September. But some teachers and families want more options. CBS News' Hazel Sanchez explains. New York City Public Schools plan to welcome all students back into the classroom on September 13th, regardless of their vaccination status. Many parents and teachers are concerned learning from home is no longer an option. There are many principals who don't have um, the adequate amount of space, especially for our middle schoolers and high schoolers. Cynthia Vaca of Diker Heights, Brooklyn, has a son in middle school and a daughter in high school. Both are vaccinated, but she says new COVID variants have them worried about returning to the classroom. They're also concerned for children living in multi generational homes, possibly bringing the virus home to vulnerable loved ones. It's sad that our family environment is being dictated by this option not being available. The option is, is either send them to school or, you know, not see grandma and grandpa for two, two years. Many teachers like Ayaxa Rodriguez feel the same. She says the Department of Education should at the very least be planning a remote option. The last thing we want is kids who are stressed out in class. So we want to make them feel reassured by planning ahead. Because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. They need to plan for a remote option. But there are some people who say in-person learning should be the only option. Deborah Alexander has a 10-year-old daughter and a vaccinated 14-year-old son. She says with the DOE's past failure to ensure all kids had devices and adequate internet, no child can afford another year of remote learning. Unless they are um, not being transparent with the public and that there is some secret remote option that's been developed, I don't have confidence that in five weeks they could develop the kind of remote option that would be um, that would be appropriate for any child at this point. And even as COVID cases continue to rise, the mayor says he has no plans to make a change for schools. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.